Hi, my name is Ken. I am a Snow White cosplayer and I am here to talk about the new movie's teaser trailer. I don't like to talk badly about companies because I want to, as an influencer, get brand deals from them, but Disney has basically blacklisted me and told me that my cosplays are too raunchy anyway, so I don't care. I'm talking about the dress and nothing else, not the casting, not the plot. If you guys are racist in my comments, you'll be blocked. Live action adaptations can be tricky because either you're going for a one-to-one -one recreation of the outfit or you're doing something original. As a cosplayer, I rarely really do like one to one adaptations of stuff because it's very difficult to make a cartoon silhouette look good on a person. One Piece live action is a really good example of doing like a one-to-one -one recreation that looks amazing because this is what they wear in the series but they made it look like a person is actually wearing it. It doesn't look like a cosplay. Full Metal Alchemist also did a really good job at this. Like their live action adaptation, like it just, it, it's almost one-to-one -one and it looks really, really good. The other option is to make a new design for these characters, which makes a lot of sense when it comes to Disney movies, because obviously there's like a million different versions of these fairy tales, right? Cinderella was one of the best live action adaptation dresses I have ever seen. They basically, they hit what it's supposed to be. She's supposed to be wearing this jaw-droppingly gorgeous magic gown like it was made from magic this also can go very bad like the beauty and the beast live action adaptation dress um i can go on and on about this dress so i will save it for another video but this is horrendous pictures of this dress have been out for a while i was secretly hoping that they would like kind of change it at the last minute or that these were fake before i complain i'm gonna say like some positive things one thing i do like about it is they gave it like this like t-length where it's like showing her ankles shows her cute shoes this like kind of like long sleeve situation attached to the puff sleeves and the, like the end of the sleeve goes like Whoop. it's very cute i like that part of it but what is going on with this color i do not understand why they went for this just ugliest shade of yellow you can possibly get to put on her because it is so unflattering. On top of that, they like changed her bodice color to be like this like lighter blue, almost like turquoise in some shots. Like it, it does not go with the yellow at all. This is Snow White's color palette, by the way. Ignore the racist. Um, I get that Disney has changed this design over the years because D uh, Snow White, I believe, was the first colored uh, cartoon out there. So obviously Disney has been like slowly kind of giving her like more of a yellow skirt, but like it's still like it's not that yellow. It's not about it not looking like the cartoon, it's about it not looking good as a garment. The fabric of this skirt, it looks like it's either like chiffon or organza or something, and there's like a bunch of layers of it. Just like the bell dress, like it's, it does not really fit. It just kind of looks bad. I kind of like the silhouette-ish on the top, like I, I, I think that some things could be changed of course, but the issue comes with the waistline right here. If you look at Snow White right here, her, it's like more of a dropped waist and she has like this little dip. I don't know what it's called, it's in a lot of princess style dresses. Now with her waist Line just being like flat it doesn't look good at this kind of dip in the dress it might give her a more flattering silhouette this is way too high waisted to be flattering on her and then just on top of that i feel like one thing that makes this dress unflattering on rachel because she is beautiful I don't really understand the hair I get that that's like they're trying to recreate what the cartoon looks like like when i did her i gave her short hair and it looks like she can have short hair it also could be up but like whatever they're doing with like this clip situation is so unflattering on this gorgeous gorgeous actress maybe the design is going for like making her pop from the background i just think she does stand out in a very bad way could have done like a better like better recreation of this dress that looks more flattering on an actress who is already receiving a ton of backlash by racists now all the haters they're gonna look at rachel in this dress and they're gonna be like well she doesn't suit the character and it's because the dress is bad